Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 dummy lesson. Now in this lesson, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add widgets, how you can show them and hide them on your viewport. And this is gonna be really simple, clean, and quick. So let's create a folder. Contain everything organized. It's gonna be my HUDs. I'm gonna create two widgets. So go to user interface and type, uh, click on widget blueprint, and let's say gaming HUD. And the other widget is going to be uh, settings, settings, HUD. Let's type that a little. Oh, let's type kind of big. There we go. Setting HUD. So here, let's double click on the gaming HUD. And here, as you can see in this rectangle box that you have here, uh, inside of this rectangle box, every object that you put in here will be shown on the viewport. Uh, of the widget that you add to the viewport. So here, in your left panel, as you can see, you have different objects that you can uh, insert inside the widget so you can do different types of options for the users to show things or to do different things on the game, on the project. So here I'm just gonna use the text just to show you guys how to do this some uh, really quick. And this is gonna be my gaming HUD tutorial. There we go. So I'm gonna scale this, I'll put the size a little bit more. There we go. So I'm gonna put this on the top here. Now, depending on the device that you export this game or app, whatever you're creating, depending on the resolution of the device, you need to add an anchor to this object and I recommend that you do it to all the objects because depending on the resolution, how big it is or how small, uh, your objects, you know, it could get distorted on the screen. So with the anchors, you will tell the, the project, the game, where everything will be exactly, even if the resolution changes, even if the player rotates a tablet or something like that. So from here, I'm just going to choose the top and the middle. So it stays right there, no matters if it rotates or whatever, or if the resolution changes. So I'm gonna compile, I'm gonna save this. I'm going to go now to the settings HUD, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna add a text, but in this one, I'm gonna add settings, game settings, or options. So I'm gonna scale it to, I'm gonna put the size up a little more just make it really big there we go and I'm gonna put this right in the middle and also for the anchor I'm gonna put it right on the middle so I'm gonna compile I'm gonna save I'm going back to my scene and now I'm gonna go to my character blueprint so blueprint folder first person character double click on it now go to the event graph of your character Let's put here the number. Uh, no, let's, let's insert the event. Event begin play. So as soon as the game starts, it starts making all the settings that we have done here. So I'm gonna create a new widget. I'm gonna create a widget, not a new widget, a widget. And from here, we choose our widget that will start showing on the viewport when the game starts. So it's going to be Gaming HUD. And for the owning, uh, oh my bad. Okay, bad timing for saving. On the owning player, you need to type get player controller so the engine knows which player is. And now on the return value, we just type add to viewports. So from here, he will add the widget to the viewport. So I'm going to create a comment, show gaming HUD on viewport at begin play. Okay, so we got the first one already here. So let's hit the play. As you can see, we got the first widget working on the viewport as a HUD. So now we need to add the settings. Now for the settings HUD, we're gonna use the tab key, 
we're going to use it so as soon as you press the key it will show the settings HUD and as soon as you release the tab key it will hide it from the viewport so let's right click let's type tab from the press let's create a widget and now we're going to choose our settings HUD the same as above on the only player we need to get the player controller there we go and now for the return value same as above uh, also add to viewport there we go the only difference here is that now on the release we need to tell him what he what is he going to do so on the return value we need to remove from parent now on the remove from parent he will delete or, or hide as you can say the widget from the viewport now you need to link from the tab from the release to the remove from parent and here we are done so now let's create a comment box here show and hide settings hot from viewport there we go so now that we have this already set up here everything should work with no problem at all let's compile let's save it I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna hit play now, as you can see the first the first widget we have it right there is the gaming HUD and now if we press the tab as you can see we get the second widget the game settings or maybe a player players uh, showing the players health kills whatever you're creating different options that you can make with this so this is something really simple now hope you guys like the the dummy lesson for the Unreal Engine 4 on the widgets now um, I'm gonna create another lesson right now and this one's gonna be about the functions and the variables because a lot of people don't know what the functions do how you can create them uh, and also for the variables they don't know what exactly they do how they can use them how you can combine from one, from one place one object to another so I'm gonna show you guys simple steps how you can work with functions and variables that's the next dummy lesson coming maybe like in an hour or so so I hope to see you guys also on that lesson also on the night I'm gonna be showing you guys how we can add different stuff on the widget HUD so you can add maybe uh, an item to your screen or things like that see you guys on the next lesson and next tutorials Bye-bye.